Hi guys, it's Vombat. I don't think anyone has missed the fact that there is a new add-on for Pro Mods. And it is not only a an add-on that you can download from the promos.net forum, it is actually an official Pro Mods add-on that is found in the same way that you find the TCP package, actually on the same page where you find the TCP package for Pro Mods. And it's an update that I've been hearing a lot of talks about for a very long time and it's a mod that made me very excited when I heard about it because in my tiny little world it is a mod that I really really want and now that we got it I can't say that I'm disappointed in any way it is everything I've dreamt of and the reason for that is that back in the 70s and 80s, a group of Scandinavians and people from other places around the world as well did a lot of profitable hauls from Norway, Oslo, all the way down to Turkey and then into Syria, Lebanon, Israel and continued all the way down to um, Doha and the United Arab Emirates. Now today that would be a haul on this map that is some 4854 kilometers but then keep in mind that we are cheating our way down we are taking a couple of ferries here and what I'm hoping for in the future is that we will have both a road connection to Tripoli from Hatay, for instance, all the way down here through Syria and further down to Doha as well. And hopefully that would mean that we will be able to haul some 6,000 kilometers instead. The uh, number of kilometers back in the day where actually more than that it was i think 8000 kilometers and it's been called the longest trucker road in the world it was absolutely bonkers long and it took them weeks upon weeks to complete the hauls just getting down there and then they had to go all the way back up again to scandinavia the map mod includes 25 cities in this first version uh, from Egypt and Jordan all the way up to uh, Lebanon. And in between we have some um, areas that you may have opinions about. I don't care what your opinion about those areas is. This is a game. We don't talk politics here. Uh, but as in real life, the border here, let's put a pin there so that you can see where that is when we zoom out a little bit. So the border between Akko and Tyre is permanently closed in real life and for that reason it is also closed in game as some of you might have noticed already there is a second border and I think that is uh, over here that normally also is uh, closed that is actually open uh, but for the sake of realism this border is closed. Now there is a mod that opens up this border by Peridy and Extreme or PL and I am using that for the most part not right now as you can see but I'm using that because if I don't have it and want to haul from say Tripoli to Taba I'll have to take a ferry from Tripoli to um, Nicosia and then down to uh, Haifa or is it Akko, can't remember and then continue my haul all the way down here and I want to enjoy hauling all the way down to Taba instead of having to take the ferry 
On the long term, I think this problem will be solved possibly by this map expanding to the east and you will have roads going into Syria, Iraq and uh, further into um, Jordan as well, uh, which will enable us to go around that area. Uh, but for now, we only have this single road down from Tripoli to uh, Israel. And for that reason, you either use the uh, border mod or you take the ferry. That is up to you to decide. I have a link to uh, the mod and I'm going to show you where to put that mod and of course the Middle East as well uh, in your map combo. And this is what the map looks like with the open border add-on. And as you can see, you are now able to haul all the way up to Tripoli in my case, instead of having to take the ferry up to Nicosia and then back to Tripoli. So that is the Middle East mod and the open border mod as well. For me personally, this is a very important part of the puzzle I'm trying to solve when it comes to recreating the extremely long route that the Scandinavians used to haul on back in the 70s and 80s. And I hope that we will have a road connection between this map and YKS RSK in the future. And I also hope that the map will expand uh, further south down to um, UAE and uh, Doha as well. But as it stands right now, this is a beautiful map mod. I wish there were more roads like this. I wish there were more uh, gravel roads, deserts roads uh, than there <coughs> already is. There is a lot of desert roads, but on tarmac. And I would love to see roads like this one, but with gravel or sand instead, just to get the feeling of actually hauling in the desert. Uh, but other than that, I, I don't have anything to complain about. This is version one of the mod. There are things that could be improved, uh, but as such, it is absolutely fantastic. And I'm very, very grateful for the courageous work these guys have done creating this map mod because as I said earlier this is a politically very explosive area a lot of people and states have opinions on it and uh, I'm grateful that they decided to do this anyway um, it's a beautiful part of the world, at least from what I'm seeing here and the bits I've seen of this part of the world on my travels to cities like um, uh, Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Uh, so uh, I'm very, very happy to see that they have been able to recreate it so well. And uh, I hope the map will continue to expand uh, fast. I can't get enough of this part of the world. It is, to me personally, very exciting to be able to hold here. And with that said, let's have a look at how you combine this one with pro mods or whatever map combos you may have. So whether you have a map combo or not doesn't really matter in this case. Uh, you will need pro mods, obviously. And on top of Pro Mods, you then add the Pro Mods Middle East add on Def and Map package, followed by the Assets package. And of course, the Israel Lebanon Open Border mod is optional. And that's it. Doesn't matter what map combo you are using, if you are using only pro mods or if you're using pro mods and say my uh, europe edition pro mods europe edition or if you are using my global edition you probably already have this one except for the border mod um, 
go ahead and add that one as well if you like and with that said thank you very very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so subscribe as well and don't forget to share my videos on all your social media in advance thank you very much it helps me grow it helps me get more views and hopefully also a few more subscribers so again thank you very much for that and i'll catch you guys next time take care everyone bye bye